Hey people, Sam Wilson TV here and I bring you the update news for the Lumia Stream version 7.0. We got some great new integrations and updates for you, so let's dive right in. Let us begin with the system alerts. The system alerts are here to help you manage your app. We got at the beginning four different alerts and hope in the future will come more. So we got Lumia open, Lumia close, stream mode on and stream mode off. I for example use the Lumia opened alert so that when Lumia gets opened, it will turn off my automations so they don't spam my chat while I'm not really doing anything in my chat. And later on, when I go online and stream, my stream online alert will turn them on again. Also, you can use, for example, the Lumia closed alert if you don't want to have all your lights turn off when you quit Lumia. So you can put in a scene or something, these lights in your scene will stay on after Lumia turned off. The next feature I want to talk about is the first shutter and entrance alert. We got first shutter and entrance alerts for all platforms, for Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Klimesh, Trovo, TikTok, and now Kick. What is the difference between first shutter and entrance? First shutter means it triggers the first time someone writes in chat and only that time. The entrance alert triggers for every chatter one time in your chat, <laughs> if that makes sense. So you can set up the first chatter and entrance alert like every other alert. I will link a tutorial for alerts in the upper right corner and you can also do variations for it. The variations for the first chatter are quite simple. You can put in the condition random based on chance. That means it happens randomly what variation will trigger or you can put it to first chatter count equal to or greater or equal to. That means we collect the time someone chatted the first time in your chat and you can have a variation if the one triggers for the fifth time, for the tenth time, for the hundredth time and it will bring up another alert like you set it up. The entrance alert also you can set it up like every other alert and you got the variations. For example, I got some variations here already for Ahat, Mad Rambo and Lucaric. So you just put in here the condition or let's go here at variation. So let's say we use it for, I have no clue, Kronk. It's a famous German YouTuber. We put the condition to username equal to and then we put in Kronk like it is written in chat. We save it and you see it's added to your list. Then you open this variation and you just prepare your alert like you are used to it for the other, for the base alert on top. Also new is the Twitch charity campaign alert. So we got four different new alerts for Twitch charity. That is one time the charity donation. That means when a donation is made, the alert will trigger. Then we got an alert for the campaign started. Like the word says, when the campaign, when you click the campaign should start, it will trigger the alert. We got a campaign progress. It's actually the same as charity donation, but not really. Um, as far as I know, you can put in some milestones or something, then it will also trigger. And the last one is the charity campaign stopped. Like the word says, when you stop the campaign, the alert will trigger. The next thing I want to show you is Kick. Everyone waited for Kick and so we now have the integration. The only downside is Kick still don't have a working API. So we are limited to what they give to us. And as we don't want to give you sub alerts, follow alerts, rate alerts, and they won't work in the end, we decided to keep them out until they tell us now it's good to go. Now we can make a sub alert for kick and it works. And you don't have to come to me every day on Discord and tell me does, that it doesn't work. Um, so we begin with the first chatter and the entrance alert because we know that works. And we also tested it on our last uh, stream on kick uh, that it really does work. Also for kick you can now um, use chat commands. They work to 100% so you can also trigger HFX via chat commands. Unfortunately 
Kick doesn't have a system like Twitch channel points or something. I'm sure that will come and I'm sure we will integrate this, but for now we are stuck with channel commands. And of course you can use the overlay system for kick. There's not much to see at the moment because the same problem like with the alerts, they don't have a lot of integration or a lot of API at the moment. But you can, for example, use the chat box, which shows you your kick chat and uh, the HFX will work. The next thing I want to show you is the command creation tool. For the command creation tool, I will go a little bit more inside because I think it's really an impressive update for Lumia Stream as it makes the whole process to build commands easier for beginners and also for old users. Even I use the new command creation tool. You can imagine I'm pretty used to add commands actually. So we click on add command and you can decide, you don't have to use it. You can click on start from scratch and you can even disable the command creation tool. When you tick this, then it won't appear anymore or you just don't want to use it for this time, then you click on start from scratch and you come to the old known command creation model. So, but we want to see this. So here you see trigger lights, trigger devices, Twitch actions, OBS, Broadlink, MIDI, VLC, custom JavaScript. That depends on what you have connected to Lumia Stream. Of course, if you don't have OBS connected to Lumia Stream, then you don't want to see OBS. It doesn't make sense, so it won't show. The same with lights. If you have only plugs uh, connected to Lumia Stream, then you don't see trigger light um, and so on. If you click on trigger light, you can decide what you want to use, like a scene, like a color or whatever. And if you open the type, then you get the next steps to follow. So you can choose a new color, you can change the brightness, the transition, and if you want, you can also decide which of your lights should react to that command. We click on complete and that's it. We set up our light. We don't have a command yet, but we set our light. <laughs> Maybe you also want the TTS message, then you click on TTS, enable. You all know that you, you do it every day with our commands. Um, you choose your voice, Nicole. Used. And it makes a voice. And you click on complete. And so on. And so you can set up your command. You go on next step. You give your command a name. You can put in a description. You can decide if you want to show or hide it in your commands page and you can put in Elias. So if someone types Lumia into the chat, then this command will also trigger. We click on next step. You can put in the duration of the command and the delay when it should trigger. This delay means you put in exclamation mark tutorial and it takes three seconds until the command starts. As well, you can choose here who is allowed to trigger this command. So you can put out of it anyone, so only your followers and subs can trigger it. You click complete and save, and you see exclamation mark release command was added to your chat commands list and will work if you trigger it. We put this method into all the commands, so you can also use it for chat match, for Twitch points, Twitch extensions, and even draw spells. Another cool feature is ChatGPT. You just have to connect ChatGPT under connections. He prepared already a chatbot command for you. And then you just have to put into your chat, ChatGPT, what is quantum physics? And after my entrance alert, <laughs> ChatGPT will answer what quantum physics are. And last but not least, we got two new cool layers in our overlay system for you. So we go to our overlay, we click on add layer and under games, we find a spin wheel. Spin wheel is fantastic for giveaways or if you want to let people choose you doing funny things. <laughs> so 
You can manage it here in the overlay directly. So you can add items like got a mouse and we want a nice picture for it. And we got 20 mice to raffle. Then we can change the color. I'm a fan of blue and green. Let's make it blue and green, save spin wheel. And you see it changed to blue and green and we got 20 mice. You can show the name, it says mouse 20 times. Now we can spin the wheel in the editor, but actually we don't want that because yeah, you don't want to tap out of your game and go open the editor and go into the editor and then click on the spin wheel. Um, you want to have most likely a mod. I want a mouse. You want most likely to have a mod trigger it or yourself are faster in your chat. So we save this and we close this. We open our browser source. I put it into my OBS and then I prepared already some commands. So you can reset the wheel with commands. You can remove items, you can add items and you can spin the wheel. That all works pretty fantastic. So we add something. We also have a keyboard we want to put into the raffle and we send it and you see it was added immediately. And then we spin the wheel. And you see it's triggered through the chat. You can reduce or limit the command to your mods or yourself. So not everyone can do it. You can use it with which points. So you can also add users to the wheel and you can raffle the username out of it. The possibilities are endless. So let's close this browser source in OBS and I will show you the other cool layer we integrated. Go back to our overlay, add layer, streaming tools and poll. There we got a poll system. Rename it to poll25 because that's what I prepared and we save. You can now manage this poll like the spin wheel from here. You can add items and change the color to blue and green. And you got it straight there in your overlay. Um, you can, of course, name the items. You can put pictures in it. You can decide on which position of the poll it should be. I would recommend to just keep it like it is. It's easier for you to set up. For now, we delete these items because I want to show you. I have to reset it because I want to show you that you can also use just commands for it. So we close this again. We open our browser source again and then we go to commands. Also, here I already prepared some commands. You can add something to the poll can also remove something to the poll. You can start the poll timer because you can't vote if it's not started. You can make your poll trigger with a vote. You can call it whatever you want. Then we want to add something. So we add, for example, the option Sam is nice. And it added Sam is nice. You can now choose between item one and Sam is nice. So let's start the poll. You see the timer starts running down and then you can vote for number two and it's selected. And that's it. That have been our features for Lumia Stream version 7.0. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to be up to date with our tutorials and new videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you have some suggestions, what you want to see in Lumia Stream some enhancements then comment in the comments and have a luminous day.